What's up guys, Justin here of Yuga Tech, and we know many of you are waiting for this to come. Finally, POCO has globally launched its newest flagship killer smartphone, the POCO F2 Pro, which is expected to be a rebranded Redmi K30 Pro though. But it's POCO, a smartphone brand that will never be forgotten. The POCO F1 smartphone was launched back in 2018 and enjoyed fame for offering flagship specs including a Snapdragon 845 chipset at a budget price. Last year, the company was expected to launch the POCO F2, but sadly, that didn't happen. Now, let's talk about its design and display. The Pocophone F2 Pro sports a 6.67-inch Full HD Plus True Full Screen AMOLED screen with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 It's HDR10 Plus certified and a 180Hz touch sampling rate. The device's front and back are protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5, and it also comes with NFC support along with an IR blaster, USB Type-C, and a 3.5mm headphone Jack. Thankfully, Poco believes that a headphone jack is a must. Which by the way, it is true for us. Give us a like if it is for you too! So the POCO F2 Pro is comparable to the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro due to its similar specs. Comparing it side by side, there are no differences as to what I can see. From bottom to top, no difference at all. Under the hood, it is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 processor, an Adreno 650 GPU, and POCO still retains its POCO Launcher 2.0 based on Android 10, which will make your life easier. This phone also packs a 4,700mAh our battery with 30 watt fast charging that's said to be capable of hitting 100% in 63 minutes. Whoa. Now, Poco compared the Poco F2 Pro to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus and OnePlus 8 Pro because they have almost the same chipset and specs. And when it comes to performance, Poco boasts its liquid cool technology 2.0 to dissipate heat, which they believe this is where it will stand out against the competition. When it comes to numbers, Poco claims that the Poco F2 Pro got an Antutu score of 5. 589,983 compared to the Samsung S20 Plus that got 526,273 score and 575,213 for the OnePlus 8 Pro. Moreover, the Pocophone F2 Pro will be available in two variants. It has 6GB of RAM plus 128GB of internal storage or 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. For cameras, it settles for a quad camera setup composed of a 64MP Sony IMX6 86 primary shooter, a 13 megapixel 123 degree ultra wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 5 megapixel telemacro camera. For selfies, it has a 20 megapixel pop up front camera. And for videos, it can shoot up to 8K at 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second, as well as 960 frames per second slow mo in 720p or 1080p. As for the front camera, you can shoot videos at 1080p at 30 frames per second and slow motion in 720p at 120 frames per second. Now the question is, would you grab it? Well, honestly, Poco has a good reputation and there's no doubt about that. And if there's something that we can also compare and recommend, it is the Huawei P40 since both can handle anything its users throw at it. As well as 5G connectivity, both phones are priced similarly, but the Huawei P40, as you may know, doesn't come with Google mobile services. And the Snapdragon 865 is technically faster than the Kirin 990. The Poco phone F2 Pro is now available at Lazada Xiaomi Mall for a price of 26,450 pesos for the 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage variant. And that's it guys, what do you think about the Poco F2 Pro? Are you excited to get your hands on this? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yukatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and don't forget to wash your hands and stay at home.